to the back. business so I'm gonna have y'all with me. Alright, so the glasses need clean. What is that? Must be coffee. Oops. So let me finish telling y'all what I was saying. So, in our group, there's a pastor, or well, actually there's two pastors in there. And last week, one of the pastors, my cousin, Pastor Giles, he wasn't there. But Pastor Holmes was there. No, no, no. No, I'm, a, I'm, I'm jumping. I mean, I'm going back too far what I want to talk about happened in this group yesterday. I mean, not yesterday, but yesterday was when it happened in this group. Tuesday. So, what had happened was that was that um, I got on kind of late. I got on kind of late, so. When I got on, they was talking about people, people um, giving food to the pantry, giving food to the community, right? And I had told I had said this a few years ago, quite often, it's like I said, I said a lot of stuff. People ain't paid me no mind. So, I just shut up. I said, well, let me leave it alone because people ain't listening to me. But I was telling them, I was saying, you giving out food in the pantry and you ain't getting no people, then what's the sense of doing it? Well, we not supposed to give out tracks. Because I was like, we come, y'all, what y'all doing? Y'all giving out tracks? Well, we can't give out tracks. They say we can't give. I said, well, I wouldn't let nobody tell me what I can't do for the Lord. They didn't save me. First of all, they didn't even give me the program. They're over the program. But God is the one that allowed me to have the pantry within his building. So you mean to tell me, you over here feeding all these people. And none of these people come. And then when they do come, they don't stay. Nobody wants to be saved. Right? Nobody wants to be saved. So there's a gentleman that comes to the church. I think he try to get there every Sunday. And I think it's because they got him an apartment downstairs in the, in, the, in the church sanctuary. I mean, in the church fellowship hall. He lives in the church. And, well, it's, it, he lives in the church building, let me put it that way. He's not in the sanctuary, but he's in the church building. So, I feel due to the fact that they are providing him with this 
place to stay that he feels like he's obligated to go to the church. Well, I got to be there. Because if I don't go there, then I'll lose my place to sleep. I got to pay tithes because if I don't pay tithes, they're going to take my place. They're going to tell me I can't sleep there no more. Uh, so let me go and let me pay my tithes. Let me go to church on Sunday because if I don't, then I won't be staying here. Tangle these chains. Just sit you up there for a second when you stay up there. <laughs> okay, we'll leave it like that. Oh, that's pretty nice. Huh? <laughs> okay, let me see if I can untangle this. So, anyway, let me see if I can talk and. Okay, we got that one clear. I think this got some long chain, so that chain stay up there like that, then I'm good. So, um, yeah, you got this one. Okay, so this is wrapped up and tied up. So now, I was telling them in the Bible study some years ago, maybe about 10 years ago, when they, maybe a few years after it, after they set it up, and they was talking about Ain't nobody doing their job. Ain't we supposed to be getting souls, getting on the evangelists. Supposed to be out now as the missionaries. Now, not to say that the evangelists ain't supposed to go and get the souls, but I'm saying that the missionary job is supposed to be out there getting going to house to house people come to church you don't see them in a while you go in you know see what's going on with them oh i know what happened this thing is always getting caught up in this lv I'll be right back. I'm gonna have to go. Oh no, I got it. Thought I had to go to my bigger mirror. Okay. So we got something going over here. Okay, we put you in there. Something caught up in here. Oh my goodness. See these chains is adjustable where you can Put them in a shorter hook, and you have all this stuff hanging. I'm trying to think. Didn't I just loosen you like five minutes ago? Oh my goodness! This is just aggravating. battery's gonna be done run out by the time I go t do what I'm supposed to be doing but I can't stand for this chain to, these chains to be it aggravates me trying to bring it to the front so I can actually see I'm gonna have to go in my bigger mirror be right back
over and I fixed it. One of the chains that was so long, I could bring it. It was this one. See, I was trying to do it in a stack, like stacking it, laying in it. But that's not working because this chain, I can't put it. So, this is 16 inches. Let's see, put it. So, I know my 16 inches is there. But anyway, so let's go on. We got that. Alright, so I was telling them that um when they were saying you ain't what are y'all doing? You're not doing nothing. You're not going out there doing nothing. I said, wait a minute. What is we supposed to do? You ain't telling us. I think I was a missionary. That's how that's what I said when I was a missionary. I said, you're not saying nothing. You're not telling us nothing to do. So, y'all here at the pantry. So, what are y'all doing? So, I think they got kind of mad with me. It ain't the pastor's job to be going out there getting those souls. It's not the bishop's job to go out there getting no soul. I don't want y'all to be distracted with my color bra. It's not... That's that man. He following. So, I said, okay, well, if y'all ain't telling us what to do or how to do it, how you expect us to do it if we don't know what to do? There we go. If you don't know what to do, how you expect us to do it? I said, y'all got all these people coming to the pantry. Why y'all don't um give out tracks or something? No, we can't do that. Why y'all can't do that? Because this program is given to us by the government. And so we can't be doing that. So I was like, well, if I can't be, if I can't do what God want me to do, I don't want the program. Because the program is not going to dictate to me what I'm supposed to do in my building. I'm paying mortgage, I'm paying rent, and you're going to come and tell me, well, you can't do this. Well, the pantry doesn't have anything to do with the church, but it's in the church building. So now you're trying to tell me that you got all these hundreds and some odd people that comes and get food every Monday or Tuesday whenever it is that you give it out and you can't give them the trap you can't put no track in their bag you can't say Jesus loves you you can't say oh we haven't prayed at 12, 12 noon on Tuesday do you mind coming I don't want I would tell the governor that I don't want it I won't be giving out no food okay well you ain't got nothing to do with it if you feel that kind of, so 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 this is what they were saying you ain't got nothing to do with it if you feel that kind of way then you come do something about it so they they paraphrased and they said it like this well since this is the job come out here we are here every tuesday from such and such and such and such and you can stand out there we can't do it but you somebody else that doesn't work in the pantry could come and do it so I caught it that they was indicating to me, well, then you come out and give out the tricks. No, I'm not going to do your job. You got missionaries working down there. You got one, two, three. And evangelists. Since you want to say it's the evangelist's job, you got the evangelists down there, the missionaries down there. You even got a, well, he wasn't a deacon then. You even got a deacon going on down there. So let's get to work. You ain't going to try to push it on me. But at that time, I was quick to get intimidated. And I shut up. They, that, cause they, that's what they wanted to do. They wanted to shut me up. And once they saw that I didn't come, then they started talking about it again. Yeah, people want to complain about this, that, and the other. But they not coming out here. All they got to do is just stand out there and give out the tracks. 
So, Ms. Johnny Holmes said Tuesday. Now, I don't know whether he said it to somebody else, like in our church or whatever. Mm. Next time I'm going to let him toast it. Because me putting it in the... Me putting it in the microwave. This made it worse and harder. So, he comes and he said, well, people got things backwards. Doing work for the kingdom is not giving out no food at no pantry. And let me tell you, there was three people on the line that work in the pantry at my church. Was it three? Two. Two people. One of them is from my church, and one of them is not from another church. And they was on the line. He was saying, come on, y'all. Y'all got it backwards. Y'all got it all mixed up. Y'all need to wake up, get it together. Y'all being caught up in the whatever. There, there, there's some type of name for the pantry in order to get it. So let's say ADCD. So y'all getting caught up in the ADCD and y'all letting the ADCD control you. That is the works of the enemy. Dictate to you what you're supposed to do. And if you're in that ADAC... When they when they come to you and tell you you gotta allow same sex marriage, you got you gotta do it. Why? Because they have they they own your building. Now, oh, listen, I said, wow, that makes a whole lot of sense. Cause I remember my bishop was saying that they they got it out now that you can <clears throat> get a paper where you don't have to do it. I said, well, there you go. You got the paper. Go ahead, put the paper there. Go get whatever it is that they say that you can get that will keep you from doing it. they giving you an option to stand up for the Lord. And you sitting back and you like, I said, well, well, go ahead. If they telling you what to do, then go ahead and do it. Uh, hmm. Silence of the lambs now. They, they confused now. But. But my thing, uh, which I told them then. And I still feel the same way now. I'm just not saying nothing to them. But my thing is, is that if the Lord told you to do that pantry, then he going to work it out that you can invite people that you can, not invite people, that he going to put it like this, point blank. If he was, if he's the one that told you to do it, he's going to open up the door so that people come in. You ain't gonna have to get no permission from nobody. Your permission comes from God. And see, this is what gets me with people, especially Holy Ghost filled people. I ain't talking about the people that's professing salvation. I'm talking about the people that I know receive the Holy Ghost. This is what gets me with them. They don't want to stand up for God. If I go do, let me tell you. I was getting ready to say, if I go do a job and they want me to do something or wear something or say something that is against my religion or against my my jurisdiction of salvation and against my Holy Ghost, I'm going to tell them I can't do it. i give you a prime example. I went to work. I went on an interview for a job in the cooking in the industry, right? I wasn't being a chef. I was being a preparer or something like that. So, assistant, chef, chef assistant. So, when I went for the interview, it was right in Brooklyn, downtown Brooklyn. Excuse me. And, um, and, um, the person that interviewed me was saying, okay, we got a certain uniform that you got to wear. So I was like, okay, so what's the uniform? You gotta wear black pants. Any kind of dark pants. 
gotta wear. I said, well, I don't wear pants. I just said, I don't wear pants. Cause now I gotta be faithful, cause I do, I wear pajamas, so. But at that time, I said, I don't wear pants. And the lady said to me, why you don't wear pants? You don't, why? I said, because, now mind you, before we got into that, she was, I guess she saw the salvation of the Lord on me and oh, she was talking all this salvation and stuff. So then she said, all right, let's move on to the interview. So she said, okay, we, we wear a uniform here. You gotta wear pants and you can wear whatever top you want, but you gotta wear some dark pants and you gotta wear shoes that don't slide. So you gotta wear a certain type of sneakers or whatever the case may be. You gotta wear sneakers or whatever. So I was like, well, I don't wear pants. You don't wear pants. She said, why you don't wear pants? I said, because I'm a Christian. She said, oh, well, I'm a Christian too. <laughs> From then on, I stopped saying I'm a Christian. She said, I'm a Christian too. I said, um. In my head, I said, okay, Lord, you're going to tell me how to do this now. I said, well, I'm. I said, oh, okay, well, that's good. I said, well, in my, in my religion, we don't wear pants. And she was like, yeah, what religion is that? I said, Pentecostal. She said, well, I'm a Pentecostal person, too. The second red flag. So, right? I don't say religion no more. I don't say Pentecostal no more. I said, oh, well, my Bible. I had to go to the Bible. I said, well, my Bible tells me that we're not supposed to wear anything that pertains to a man. She said, oh. I guess she was trying to think what to say. But she came back at me. But um, during that time, she would think about what to say. The Lord was preparing the words for me to say. So I said, yeah. So since the Bible say that, we that gave me the chance to say, well, we live by the Bible. You know, we those people that they say holy rollers. That, that, that's, who, that's who I am. I said, and we stand for holiness. I said, so... Within the word of God, it tells us not to wear anything that pertains to the man. Now I got another outlook on that, but. So, um, she said, oh. She said, well, um, you wear skirts? Doesn't it skirt? No, she said, um, so what exactly that makes the difference between the pants and the skirt? You wearing a skirt, you know what I'm saying? I said, well, see, the skirt, uh, <laughs> I never really thought of this until I said it. You know what I'm saying? So, to be honest, I'm very particular about skirts. You know, certain types of skirts. So, I said to her, I said, well, if you notice that the skirts has zippers in them. No, the pants. I said, the pants got zippers in it. I said, so, therefore, you know, the zipper is there for a reason. You know, normally, the women may have a zipper on the side or a zipper in the back. We very seldom have zippers in the front due to the fact, and I'm just, this just coming to me, due to the fact that we got hairs down there, and we ain't trying to be zipping up nothing. So it's made, the zipper is made, this is what I'm telling up, excluding what I just said. I said, but the zipper is made for the men, and if you notice that it's a certain, certain size, whatever the case may be, so that it can accommodate the man. So we, we don't have all those things. So... We got to dress according to who we are. We are women, so we got to wear what's pertaining to a woman. So, therefore, you know, the, the, the pants being that it have zippers. So, she said, well, some pants don't got no zippers. I said, exactly. I said, but it still revolves around what a woman should wear. We are supposed to pull up stuff to, um, let me see, how did I explain it? I, know, I can't remember how I explained it, but the way I said it, she, she got it, but... I could tell that she got upset about it because I was calling her out in her salvation. And she was like, oh, well, I'm saved too. And I said I was saved because after we, after we, before we got into me explaining the zipper and stuff like that, I said, well, we follow holiness. I said, I'm saved. I got the Holy Ghost. She said, well, I'm, excuse me. She said, well, I'm saved. She never said she had the Holy Ghost. She said, well, I'm saved too. I said, well, that's good. Then you understand what I'm saying. She said, well, I go to um, Pastor Hezekiah Walker Church, and he lets us wear pants. I say it's not even all about being let to do it. It's all about knowing what you're supposed to do right 
and which what is right and what is wrong. I said, so my Holy Ghost tells me that I'm not supposed to wear anything that pertains to a man. So therefore, in my church, this is this is what we don't do. So whoever do it, they do it. I'm not knocking Pastor Hezekiah walking as his church. He got the ability to tell his people what and what not to do. I said, but in my church, this is what this is what my aunt said, this is what my founder said, and this is what my bishop is saying today. So so she got, she said, well, so you have to find some kind of skirt to wear. I said, don't worry, I got this. I said, this ain't the first job that I ain't wearing no pants at. I said, I was auxiliary police. She said, you was auxiliary police. How you was auxiliary police and you had to wear pants? I said, I wasn't saved then. I said, but all the other jobs that I worked at, I was not obligated to wear no pants. And they cannot make you wear no pants. I said, we got to... I mean, we didn't even dig. We didn't dig that deep. I mean, this is just something I'm throwing out there. But um, that that that's going against your religion. And they're not supposed to disrespect your religion. It's just the problem is that the reason why they disrespect us, us holy people, is because we don't stand up for what's right. We want to do what we want to do. We want to be, we want to please whom we're working for. For whatever reason, whether it's for the money or whether it's for the titles. And we lose out on God. We kick God underneath the, underneath the rug. And he don't like that. So, going back to, to, to the previous, in reference to... Uh, what Johnny has said So in that I think I use that scenario That story to let them see that If you stand up for God God will stand up for you Now yeah I had a lot of problems on the job The lady wound up getting me let go Didn't want to rehire me again But it was okay Because the the word said if you Whatever house you go into You present your peace And if they don't accept your peace You shake the dust from your feet So I got a chance to witness to her To let her know that her lifestyle Not even her lifestyle Because I don't know her lifestyle I just got to witness to her Because she was very into it She was like oh Okay And she just found out right then and there I'm not wearing no pants And you ain't going to make me wear no pants Because my high authority comes from God Not from you and I, I, I believe I told her, I said, well, if it's mandatory for us to wear pants, then I can't work here. It was a little silence because I needed to let that penetrate in her. I said, um, so I just have to find another job that allows me to wear what I'm supposed to wear because I'm not going to compromise my salvation to please someone else. I said, I got to work my Bible. See, I got a chance to work with this. So I said, my Bible tells me to work out my own salvation. And this is the way with fear and trembling. So this is how I'm working it out. And God is not going to allow nobody to take advantage of me if I'm standing up for him. So I think maybe that's what made her mad. And she was like, all right. She hired me, but she she hired me and she fired me. But I was it wasn't too much of a fire you know, like I'm firing you. It was more so as a job that I was to work at for a certain amount of months. And then at the end of the month, it wasn't even a job. It was like a on-the-job training. So I was getting paid and all of that. But it was only for a certain amount of time. And if the people wanted to accept me back, wanted to actually hire me, then I would have got on their payroll. I would, you know... Because it, it wasn't her that hired me. She only hired me for that particular position in the kitchen for that particular time. But if it came down that I was going to be hired for the job, I had to go through her in order to get to the big people, in order to get the big interview, in order to get the job. But she was the one that, like, put the word in, yes, this person is good or whatever. So, with that being said... Oh, gee. That's my 
question for so with that being said Johnny was saying that well how you y'all got it all backwards I think came off you got it all backwards you're supposed to um it came off of this see no not that one it came off of this one so we got this color he said you're supposed to be doing work for the kingdom we got this color I was trying to get it so I can put it on this chain that got nothing on it they have a little thing here maybe I can open it maybe I can open it but I have to let my daughter do it because you see I got on glasses so I'm gonna let her open it and stick it I'm gonna put it on this chain. Let me show you the chain and put it on. Put it on this chain. So I'm gonna let her open it up. I need a loop that doesn't have a hole in it. What I mean, let me show you. You see the thing hanging? I need a round circle, but that's gonna be impossible. You see the little hoop that's on there already? That little hoop that's up there, then they got the little chain there. No. How did it get in my ear? It ain't supposed to be in my ear. I hear him. I'm supposed to be talking here. Let me see, I'll be right back. 